Indian Navy is all set to commission its latest stealth guided missile destroyer, the INS Imphal at Mumbai's naval dockyard. This is the third made in India stealth missile destroyer that shall be inducted into the Navy's fleet. Indigenously designed by the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau, the INS Imphal was uh, constructed by Mumbai's uh, Mazagon Dock Limited. Apart from being a made in India marvel, which is particularly interesting, is that uh, INS Imphal is equipped with uh, state-of-the-art weapons and sensors, including surface-to-air surface missiles, anti-ship missiles and uh, torpedoes, the anti-submarine indigenous rocket launchers and a 76mm super rapid gun mount. The induction of this missile destroyer will take place in the presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, who will grace the event as the chief guest. My colleague Akshit Gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Akshit, over to you. What time is this going to take? When is it going to be commissioned in Mumbai? Well, yes, uh, it is a move uh, which will add another feather uh, in the cap of the Indian Navy and uh, which is also to commission its latest stealth guided missile destroyer in Fall at the Naval Dockyard in Mumbai today. And it will be inducted in the presence of Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. Uh, well, uh, if I may tell you that Infal is the first warship to have been named after a city in the northeast, and uh, currently the Indian Navy operates 122 warships, included 11 guided missile destroyers from three different classes. And uh, Infal was uh, delivered to the Navy on October 20th after completing a rigorous and comprehensive trial program, uh, both in the harbor and at the sea. And subsequently, the ship uh, successfully test fired the extended range supersonic Brahmos uh, missile in November 2023, first for any indigenous warship before commissioning. Uh, and Infal, uh, you know, is also a state-of-the-art warship designed by the Navy's warship design bureau and built by uh, Masago Dog uh, uh, shipbuilders with significant contributions from the public and private sectors. Uh, well, it's uh, 163 meters in length, uh, 7,400 uh, tons, and, uh, you know, with 75% indigenous content. And while can rightfully be regarded as one of the most potent warships to have been constructed in India. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.